hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to discuss about rail wall so this is how the rail walls of a Wartzilla soldier engine looks like in the later videos I will also show you uh, I will open it and show you to you and this is how your actual condition of rail wall looks like you can see on the top three uh, rail walls are there in ICU these are ICU unit and when you remove all these oil submerged rail walls this is how they looks like fully oil submerged Orings are there, so all these things will be covered in this video. So, guys, you can see here this is the rail wall RV2, and this side you can see here this is the this side you can see this is the injection wall, no injection, wall closed. So, one side is like no injection, one side is injection, and you can see here the this one is for valve open and this one is for wall close iron core you can see here wall spindle is there control all inlet inlet and outlet to icu outlet to return pipe and these are the coil these are electrical coil so rail walls are quick acting three by two way solenoid walls so these are basically three by two solenoid walls okay these are electrically operated. Each cylinder unit has four rail walls. Three of them are pre-controlled for ICU. So you can see in the image, the, the ICU contains the three uh, rail walls and, and one of them is for controlling your VCU. So uh, totally three to four walls are there, rail walls. So following are the injection and return and open and close command for WCS 950-9520. The corresponding coils are energized for a very short time. Normal operation is 1 uh, millisecond, max 4.5 millisecond, but with a high current impulse 50 to 60 amp. This makes the wall spindle move toward the energized coil, uh, which is like 0.3 mm stroke. The high current impulse and the short travel of the wall spindle enable a very short actuation time, which is indispensable for precise injection or exhaust wall control. These rail walls are non-serviceable. So this is the important thing which you need to note it down. These are non-serviceable. So you cannot open this and you can clean this and uh, you, don't, you, you don't need to try to do any changes to this so these are a complete set of wall if there is any malfunction you find any fault in this you need to replace it completely nevertheless if any dirt particle are suspected to influence proper operation the wall can be open and blow out by air blown out by air pay attention to the assembly position of the wall spindle so uh, you can use your uh, pneumatic gun to clean the wall from outside don't need to dismantle it so these are the few things which you need to uh, make it clear like this is the, are the 3 by 2 solenoid walls and they are like short travel impulse short travel solenoid walls so it uh, they are very fast they are non serviceable but you can uh, clean using your compressed air so and these are the part which is there in the rail wall just for your information so guys when you dismantle this rail walls you have to make clear that you install them properly once you open it uh, always clean the pocket pocket where the sockets are getting connected these two pins you can see and you need to clean it very properly otherwise there can be any error or in there can be a malfunction so clean it properly uh, place the o-rings and then place it back this is how your rail wall box looks like now i will try to open it and I will show you guys this is the a new working rail wall um, this you can see here this uh, is like this is the socket from where the connections will be there this is like an insert a plug so when there is no issue when you are inserting it because they will go at its correct position only so while connecting you don't need to worry about positive or negative sign this one is an uh, old rail wall which I will dismantle it because this one is not working. So now I am going to dismantle it to show you the iron core and other parts which are there inside the rail wall. So I will try to open this and then we will see what is there 
we will see iron core and the connection point this side you can see here one o-ring is there and this side you can see the white one is your uh, iron core with spindle also and this this side you can see this is the connection point which i have broken it that's why it says non-serviceable this is the connection point where you have to plug your connection so guys i hope i was able to explain you something about a rail wall see you in the next video till then bye bye take care